experiment to prove that carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis materials required potted plant potassium hydroxide glass bottle iodine solution grease and split cork Take a potted plant with long and narrow leaves. Keep it in a dark place for weekdays. In these weekdays, photosynthesis does not take place in the plant due to unavailability of sunlight. Hence, the starch which is present in the leaves consumed by the plant. Now, leaves are free from starch. Take a glass bottle with 5 to 6 ml of potassium hydroxide solution. Insert half of the leaf into the glass bottle by using split cork. Close the bottle without leaving any gap by using grease. Hence, air does not enter into the bottle. In this arrangement, Carbon dioxide is available for the part of the leaf which is present outside the bottle, while carbon dioxide does not available for the part of the leaf which is present inside the bottle. Why? Because potassium hydroxide solution absorbed carbon dioxide present in the bottle. Keep the entire setup in sunlight for 4 to 5 hours. Hence, Photosynthesis starts in the leaves of the plant. Detach the leaf from plant. Carefully remove the leaf from bottle. Boil the leaf in methylated spirit over a water bath till it becomes pale white. Then test the leaf by iodine solution. Part of the leaf which is present outside of the bottle turns into blue-black color. It indicates starch is produced in this part. That means photosynthesis occurs in this part. Part of the leaf which is present inside the bottle doesn't turn into blue-black color. It indicates starch does not produced in this part. That means photosynthesis does not occur. So, this experiment proves that carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis. Okay children, study well, grow well, be a good citizen and proud to be an Indian. Thank you.